So how does it feel to get to tell a story like this set in, uh, you know, a couple decades ago where people didn't even know about this book series? People didn't even know about yeah. this cool character. I'd say it's about time. Yeah. You know? You talk about shooting on the reservation in Santa Fe and the incorporation also of the Navajo language yeah. into this script. What's it like learning the Navajo language and kind of helping to make sure that this is an authentic and kind of honest depiction of indigenous life for a story like this? Well, I, I mean, uh, authentic, uh, being authentic with, with the culture and, and the language is extremely important to us, obviously. We have uh, Navajo consultants on the set. Um, uh, the uh, language is one of the most difficult languages to learn. Obviously, I'm not learning the whole language, I'm learning my lines in, we, we say Dene, so the Dene people, Navajo is kind of uh, what they were called, but they called themselves the Dene. And uh, it's a difficult language to learn. I mean, they used it in World War II. Yeah, code breakers. Co code talkers, yes, yes, to, uh, to fool the Germans and, and, and help win the World War II. So how does it feel to get to tell a story like this? We all grew up with the, the stereotypes of, of Native Americans, and now it's a, a time where we're, we're telling our own stories, finally. And yeah. People like them. You're also in reservation dogs. What's yeah. it like to see the response, both online and in real life, to a show that was really a big hit, both uh, kind of culturally and uh, critically? Yeah, uh, incredible. You know, Sterling Harjo did an amazing job, the, the creator with Taika as well um did an amazing job and the uh the reception of, of the audience is is wonderful 